I took the time to make um, a little a little better motor. Um, it's machined. Um, it's got a Neo uh, magnet inside and the rotor. Um, the coils I use the same amount of copper as the other one. Um, there's two coils. Um, it's a stainless shaft. It's actually riding on precision bearings. Um, I did resort to the the uh, little cam commutator again, just just for time savings. Um, it works. Could be done better. Um, mounted this down here. This is the capacitor. Little bridge rectifier that I made, and um, I changed the schematic. I want to show you. Um, the difference is, this is the secondary coil. This is where the flyback comes through the zener. So the AC coming off uh, the secondary under the bridge rectifier. And what's interesting is I'm only coming off with the positive, back to the positive rail up here. The negative I'm just leaving open. Um, the motor will run with that connected back to negative, but uh, I want to show you what it does if it's just run this way. Um, so anyway, you want to trigger it, Hall effect, um, LED light sensor, any way you want. My battery starting is about 11 and a half. We'll check that voltage. And either either one of the 3055s. I'm using the, the I think it's the TIP. All right, we're going to check uh, starting voltage. All right. 12.55, 12.54, somewhere around there. That's the start voltage. We'll hook it up. I want to show you a couple of things. That's a 12.24, 12 because we're actually hooked up. All right, here's the battery lead. Give it a spin. And here's the voltage coming off. Voltage has come up from that 12.24. Now we're going to run it with both sides of the capacitor hooked in. Right now we're looking at the capacitor. Okay, we're just going to check the battery voltage now. We're at 13, 12.32. Here it's hooked up um, as per the schematic and I'm just, just letting it run. You can see what the charge is on that capacitor. 
All right, let's see if it'll run by itself. I'll take the battery lead off. Right now we're running off the battery. Nope, won't run by itself. I'm gonna hook it back up. Start it. And now we're running on five volts. We'll take the lead off the capacitor. Let's amp draw on five volts. These are the feedback amps going back to the battery. Take this uh, complete off. I'm going to hook it up, let it run, and we'll watch the voltage again.